fighting for the working people of Ohio. Ted Strickland says that's why he's running for the U.S. Senate. Now, the former governor will have to fight his way through a Democratic Party to face Republican incumbent Rob Portman. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes has Strickland's announcement and reaction. Todd. Yeah, Mike, big names, big money, and big media attention. Now that Strickland says he's running for Senate in 2016, expect the race to keep Ohio in the national spotlight. Former Ohio Governor Ted Strickland made his U.S. Senate bid official via email. Then he stepped in front of the cameras. Uh, I want to go to the Senate and fight for the working people of my state. Uh, I think they're not getting a good deal. I think, in fact, I think many people, working class people, are getting a raw deal. Um, and I'm going to be a voice that will fight for, for them. Before that could ever happen, uh, and, uh, the 73-year-old Strickland will have to square off against fellow Democrat and current Cincinnati Councilman P.G. Sittenfeld. The primary winner will face incumbent Rob Portman in November 2016. As I've said many times, I admire Ted Strickland. You know, we're focused on building our own campaign, making sure it's a grassroots movement. My opponent is Rob Portman, who I think for you know around a quarter of a century of experience in Washington, D.C., hasn't gotten it done for the people of Ohio. Portman's camp clearly disagrees and fired back. Not at the 30-year-old Sittenfeld, who's still somewhat of an unknown statewide, but at Strickland. The campaign launched a website called RetreadTed.com. It claims Strickland would take Ohio backward. First things first, says political analyst Gene Beaupre. He'll be paying close attention to the showdown between Strickland and Sittenfeld in the Democratic primary. You know, the question will be strategically for both of those candidates. Do they want to cut on each other, or do they want to cut on the opposite side of the aisle? Now, I also asked Beaupre about the 43-year age difference between Strickland and Sittenfeld. He said if it has any impact, it will draw older voters to the polls. Strickland is most likely to benefit. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.